This is going to be uh, the seam the seam route to oh, the Beasley. I got a lot to say about this play, but you go first. Well, what, what I see what I see right here is that they're in cover three. This is an yep. easy throw by for for uh, for Allen. He's just looking. You got the safety sitting in the middle. It's an easy throw. There's you know I don't necessarily think that it's it's covered completely wrong by twenty seven. His job is to go uh, curl the flat off their playing cover three. So he doesn't well, a really. Things. This is this is. Tavarius Moore, I believe. That's Tavarius Moore, and I believe he, he needs to, to carry the seam route, um, the number two receiver up to seam. So that's that's on him. But two, two, as you say, it is cover three. Look at the middle third safety. He's yeah. way on the left hash. Yeah. And I guess I understand he's looking at the tight end. But, dude, you need to get to the middle of the field. He's way looking at the left. I feel like this is my deal with Jimmy Ward. Like he doesn't bust assignments like Tavarius Moore, but you're not where you're supposed to be. You react late, and you could have helped Tavarius Moore, who clearly blows it. You could have been there. Instead, you're two steps late. So I, I, I say that's a terrible play by Moore and a not so good play by Jimmy Ward. Yeah, if you know, and and on, and on top of that, if they're if they're in cover three or they're trying to disguise some kind of thing right here, that's that's yeah. it, you know what I said after the after the play was we've seen this so many times from the 49ers with their strong safety and coverage. We saw this a lot with with um, when Tart was in there where they where he basically just sits and you got guys running right by him. We saw that a lot this year. You yeah. see it again with with more and more more everybody's yawn about it because he's a, he's the new guy. When Tart does it, we don't hear it as much. Well, I mean, it just seems to me that if you're playing. This cover three a lot. Like, how much has Tavarius Moore been the curl flat guy? Yeah. You know how much? How many? How much experience does he have carrying the number two? I think what we see from these defenses who play this a lot, like the Niners last year, mm -hmm. is when you have a, a bunch of guys who are experienced and have done it a lot, they don't make coverage busts, and at least everyone's where they're supposed to be. When you got Tavarius Moore and Dante Johnson out there, it's like, well, good luck. Yeah, and I kind of see. I can see because I, I think that's what uh, what Eric Davis said at, on on Twitter, yeah. and I can see his point because there is nobody that's going to that's threatening him in the flat. So you know, there's no reason to to stop your feet at that point. The way I always understood the, the way they teach cover three is the curl flat guy is responsible for the number two receiver if he goes vertical. But I I could be wrong on that. No, I, I think you're I, right. Yeah. Okay. I think you're right. All right. Which was what's the next one? Uh, ten thirty six. Okay. 1036. Okay. I don't remember why I wrote this one down. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, I do. This is, this is, I, what, the reason I put this was I thought this was good coverage by, by Johnson. They're, they're oh. looking, he's looking to the left. You've got it. They're, they're double tubbing, uh, double teaming, uh, digs, uh, out, out to the left, uh, right side of the defense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you've got, and, and that's where he's looking. He's looking to go to 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 digs or to the the drag, and and they do a really good job of covering that and taking it away. So this is actually a good coverage by the 49ers, one of the few that they had in the game. Okay. Because if you um, watch if you watch Johnson, he's behind him, but he's right in his hip pocket. So when he flattens yeah. out, he's underneath him. No, I uh, I have I have four plays of Eric Armstead that really upset me. And okay. this is the first one, but we're going to come back to Armstead. So let's keep moving on. But if you if you know what I'm talking about, you've watched if you just watched this play, we can come back to this one. What's <laughs> All right, uh, let's go to uh, 22 seconds of the first quarter. Okay. Okay. I got some plays for Armstead. I got some plays for Verrett. I got some plays for Sherman, and we'll do okay. that later. Okay. okay. Yeah, I got a couple. There'll be a couple Sherman ones for sure. Okay. And this this is really a, all about uh, Josh Allen on this one, because you got you got. Uh, oh. It looks like it's more is going to is manned up. Well, it's, they're in, they're in, they're in zone. It looks like, but mm -hmm. Allen break Allen breaks down the breaks down the coverage as he starts to scramble. And you get Beasley running all the way from the numbers on one side to the numbers oh. on the other. There's that's just a really tough coverage by the for the for the secondary. Yeah, watch. Here's Beasley. He's going to run this. He's just going to. Go all the way around. That's really tough. Yeah. Really, really tough. And then again, like who blew it? Who gave up contain? Like this is a very athletic. It's like, oh, oh very athletic. Yeah. Very He's, athletic. Yeah. It, and to me, this to me, this looks like John Elway. Yeah, I totally agree. He's looks like, like, yeah. A yeah. big guy. He's running out there. I mean, he doesn't even put all he's running out to his right. He looks like he's just flicking that thing on a rope yep. out there to Beasley. Yep. This is John Elway. Only only other guy in the league who could do this is Mahomes. Really. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe yeah. Wentz could do it too. 
Mm, you like Maybe one's a lot Mr. more than me. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> All right, what are we doing next? All right, let's go to uh, 1306 of the, well, actually, yeah, 1306 of the second quarter. Okay, here we go. And this is going back to something that we've talked about before. The 49ers have a really hard time when they get when teams go into bunch against them, especially in short yes, yard. They do. And and that's because of the way they don't do any kind of, of, of switching. They decide they're gonna stick on their man. Oh. And and the other thing to watch here is is Sherman lines up on the goal line. Yeah. Why? And that's fine. Yeah. If you're gonna if you're gonna stay on the goal line, except exactly. for his first, you know, if you're gonna line up where he lines up, you've got to stay there. And you've got to yeah. wait until you get challenged. And instead, he backs himself up almost to the to the bottom of the end. Oh. That's too easy. Yeah, that's too easy, dude. He's backing dude. up, backing up. Look, how far, you know, look at the separation that he's given. There was no reason for him. If he had just stayed where he was, you know, worry, worry, what are you worried about? You only have 10 yards behind you. Oh. Everything in this play has to be in front of you. Anything behind, you know, if it's behind you, you should be able to, you know, if that guy gets behind you, you should be able to be between him and the ball. And There's again, no I like what you're saying. Just stay on the, on the goal line. Stay on the yep. goal line. Stay on the goal line. Don't back up. Who? You don't have to back up. No, no. one's forcing you to back up. Not at all. The Boy, other two guys are covered. Oh, that's yep. terrible. Oh, Richard. Wait, Richard. Way too easy. Way too easy. All right, what's next? Uh, five fifty-three of the third. Okay, I'll get down there. Here we are. Oh God, it's very more. My goodness, dude. Do, 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 do. Okay. Yeah. And he's going to, this one is, he's coming down and, and, uh, he doesn't even get lined up correctly. Oh. No, he's off. And then he, he starts chasing and he runs, tries to go underneath this route, underneath the, the 13 and just gets picked. He needs to, he needs to be taking that back over the top and trying to chase from that position with where he's lined up right here. He, this is where he messes up when they're, when they're, they're trying to shuffle around like the Bills do. When mm -hmm. there, uh, when there's a jet sweep motion, and he needs to come out here. And if he had just lined up a little bit further back, like Sherman did on the previous play, he would not be in a position to get picked. He'd go right over the top, and they wouldn't be able to throw this pass. Yeah, they're this trying is to just kind of trouble. getting lined up incorrectly. Tavarius Moore and Dante Johnson were killing the Niners in this game. Yeah, killing the Niners in this game. And you know, like Jaquaski Tart, Jimmy Ward, they don't make a lot of plays, but they don't do coverage busts like this. Well, I guess Hart does sometimes, but there were like three of them for more in this game. Yeah, Tarts had the share of them this year, and that's, that's he has. But yeah. that's a that's just that's another really bad one right there. That's kind that's of what I had on the pass defense. I mean, they just okay. I I know I don't know I, uh, I I didn't for for a guy that that hasn't played in the slot since I think his rookie year. I don't know if Johnson necessarily played the worst game that I that he could have played. Fair. Yeah, you know, he actually had some good good plays, and he's playing a lot of zone in this game too, which is really rough on him.